Hi, welcome to automation testing. In in this video, we are going to see extend report with multiple classes. Okay, using version three. And the topics which we are going to discuss is taking two different classes and generate single extend report for these two different classes. Uh, usually, uh, in the previous videos, we have seen that we took single class and we generated the extend report. Uh, but most of the time, people are uh, confusing that. how to generate if i have more than one class and i want to generate a single report for the two uh, different classes it might be two different classes it might be 100 different classes the reason is uh, when you uh, in the real time when you create a project and you writing a test suit uh, uh, you create a framework then you might have uh, more than one test case for all the test cases all the classes you have to generate a single report okay then how you can achieve that Uh, we will see in this video. Okay, for that we'll go to Eclipse and then close on. For that we'll uh, uh, take three classes. Actually, we need to generate report for two classes, but we'll take three classes. One is the base test means the entire all the classes important classes will be. Um, what is initialized in that class and you extend that class to wherever you need those classes okay uh, we'll get more clarity after writing and explaining the uh, things okay i'll take uh, base test okay i'll name it as base test it is the base for all the classes wherever you need okay in this base test i'll copy some code okay which is very common like you can see in the previous videos also and i'll explain again and mention these things these are the important three classes to generate the excel report okay i'll import on these things like extend html report extend reports and extend test there are the three tests which are important to generate the extend report html report object object equal new extend html reporter and you have to mention where exactly uh, you are uh, what do you say uh, generating the report means in which location you are generating the extend, extend report you are mentioning system dot get property will give the current uh, Uh, directory location and the test output folder you are uh, giving my own report dot html this is the extend report and extend equal new extend reports and extend dot attach reporter you have to add this html report to your extend object okay and if something goes wrong in your test case okay what you need to do i'll say after each method take the result and compare means public void get result and uh, what i'll do i have to import this after method and you have to take one of the interfaces in the test engine i test result result okay you import the i test result okay now you write the logic for this uh, if uh, what you say uh, result dot get status is equal to equal to uh, i test result dot failure if the result is the test case is failure what you need to do okay you just capture this information in the uh, log in the extend report dot fail and markup you will have one of the method classes called markup help to create label and the uh, what you say result dot get name plus you just mention test case fail this test case is fail and uh, the extent color sorry dot red color it is on uh, l error so that is the reason i am putting as a red color 
fail and here I am saying result dot to get throwable means I am printing the entire uh, stack trace also in the uh, report and uh, else if uh, result dot get uh, status is equal to equal to I test result dot success if it is pass what you need to do okay what you need to do uh, test dot uh, what is it pass test dot pass and you need to give markup helper dot create label result dot get name plus test case pass and I am giving this what color uh, extent color dot green okay this is a pass test case that is the reason I am giving and if it is skipped okay uh, I am mentioning else if test case dot skip if it is skip what you need to do mm, sorry no need to mention else test dot oh, you have to mention skip and here get name this is test case skip and you mention yellow color okay at the same time uh, test dot skip you just mention the result dot get throwable means for which reason it got skipped okay you captured all these things after each test method what happened if it is pass you have to print something if it is fail you have to print something here I am saying after suit the reason is uh, two test cases more than one test case means you uh, execute as a suit you put into the test engine at XML file and you uh, execute as a suit that is the reason after completion of your entire suit you just flush this information to extent report okay that is the reason I took after suit in our previous videos I have taken after test but here after suit uh, extent dot flush okay this is my uh, utility or common method okay base test I have put all the important thing uh, classes and if something goes wrong what you need to capture and everything is done you just flush the information into the report okay this is base test now we will let actual test cases we will take two uh, test cases means test classes and we will try to uh, pass fail and skip and we will see what exactly happen is it will generate single report or multiple reports okay now what I will do I will take class and the class name is functionality1 okay mm -hmm. for each functionality usually you will write one test class right that is the reason I say functionality1 in the functionality1 I have two three test cases okay at the rate test public void functionality test 1 ok functionality test 1 I will import this test method I will say I have to mention test dot create test but test object will not come the reason is we have mentioned those things in the base test so we will extend base test ok class extends not extends it is extends ok the everything is in the base test so we are inheriting that base test to this functionality one then you will get all the classes which are there in the base test you will get into this one ok now you will get the test object create uh, extend dot create test test equal extent dot create test and give the test name in this this should be the first 
line in your test method that is, then only it will capture the uh, information and it will place the information into your extent report assert true okay test engine i'll say 1 greater than 0 this is pass right now i'll take one more test method uh, public uh, wide functionality test 2 okay here also same thing test equal to and I'll say functionality 2 and here what I do assert dot assert equals I'll say actual Krishna and the expected Sakinala ok now I'll take one more test method ok in the one more test method what I'll do this is functionality test 3 and functionality test uh, 3 and uh, assert dot I'll say not equals ok I'm failing this one in different way assert not equals I'm putting equal information and this is functionality 1 test 1 functionality test 2 and functionality 1 test 1 okay. now I'll create uh, one more class that is uh, functionality 2 okay. 2 ok in this functionality 2 what I'll do I'll copy all these test methods again in same methods in the functionality 2 functionality and I'll, I'll rename the methods proper this is functionality 2 mm, this is functionality 2 and this is functionality 2 and the same way functionality 2 test 3 functionality 2 test 2 functionality 2 test 1 and here I'll say functionality 1 functionality 1 and functionality 1 sorry here okay and here what oh, we will write like mm, see we are getting error the reason is you have to uh, extend the base test then the single object okay this test will point to this base test extend test the single object you are using in your entire all the classes entire suit you can say entire framework you can say here all the classes ok now what I will do the same thing asset fail uh, asset fail and asset fail same thing ok but asset is same but the method names are different but two different classes ok but taking the same object this extent is coming from the base test this test is coming from the base test this way you can handle I have written one base test and I mentioned all the classes public static extent HTML report, public static extent reports, public static extent test. Okay. And I am getting this information with a single object. I am using the single object and then and extending this base test into this functionality one. And I am using the same object which I initialized in the base test. That is the reason it will generate only single report. Okay. Now what I will do, I'll create a uh, test ng dot xml file okay convert to test ng dot xml file see test ng dot xml file and finish if you go to test ng dot xml file it will give dot we should remove that one and I'll mention the functionality one also okay and I'll mention the functionality the reason is I want to execute both the test cases at a time both the test cases at a time and view functionality 1 now I will execute this suit run as test ng suit 
See, total test 6, failure or 4. Okay, for each test case, we have 3 3 tests, and in each test in each class, 1 is passed, 2 is failed, and in the re, uh, second one also, 1 passed, 2 failed, total 4 failed. That is the reason it is showing 4 failed. Now we'll go to the report where exactly this is in this location my own report.html so for this one and you can see here functionality 1 test 1 functionality 1 test 2 functionality 1 test 3 and functionality 2 test 3 functionality 2 test 1 functionality 2 test 3. okay and these two got passed and these four got failed if you go to the dashboard you can see two test passed four test failed okay this way if you have 100 test classes in the 100 test classes you have multiple test methods this way you can handle you can generate one single report okay you have to mention one base test and you mention all these things as a static classes and you access the same object single object in the entire suit okay this way you can achieve this functionality single report for multiple classes mm. but that's all in this video thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to automation testing channel and please like visit our Facebook page.